Yo guys, before we get into this video, I just want to say thank you for a thousand subscribers. Been uploading for a couple months now, but definitely didn't see myself taking it this far. Excited for the year. Let's try to get to 10K by the end of the year. But yeah, without further ado, let's get right into this video. Yo guys, what's going on today? It's your boy Kavi. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make some crazy kid choir, Q beats type loops. Super dark vibes. I can hear someone like 21 Savage or Metro Boomin on this. Using my own voice on this, so don't hold me for that, but I think it came out super dope. This loop is in my new Trap Star Volume 2 loop kit, which you can get on loopstash.com with the code KXVI30 for 30% off. Don't miss out on that. It's 44 loops in a similar style to this. Definitely my favorite like trap kit that I've dropped in a minute. And as always, you can get this loop for free down below in the description as well. Without further ado, let's get into this loop. So yeah, you can hear right off the bat, just some crazy like dark Memphis kind of style vibes. First thing that I started with was this Arturia piano, the American. I use it all the time. It's really like my go-to piano for these like dark Memphis kind of vibes. This is what the MIDI looks like, super simple. And for the theory behind this, it's really just one chord the whole time. It's really just a D minor chord, just kind of changing some notes around to make it sound darker. And that's how I came up with like the main basis of the sample. The next thing that I added was this little high piano. Also from the V2, I just drowned it in reverb. So, sounds super dope already. I really wanted to try out this whole like kid choir wave and uh, use my own voice on it. And this is what the finished vocal sounds like. Now, I think I got rid of a lot of the takes just to kind of simplify the project a little bit. I think this is the main take right here. Get ready for some, some something rough, but this is what it sounds like. Guy is falling and you know he gotta hide. So basically, I just sung that over and over. I layered it probably like six to 10 times and it kind of it kind of hides the like imperfections. For the effects on these to make it decent, I grabbed auto tune right here. I set it to the scale it was in, put the retune speed up to max, but I also put the humanize and the flex tune up otherwise it just sounds too robotic and that's not what you want i just wanted it to be more in key than it was because i can't sing for shit so after that just throw on this little eq right here just boosting some frequencies i threw on this compressor from logic all this is really this little vocal chain is if you're in logic i just went over here press voice and then natural vocal so the only thing i added on here was the auto tune and then i've got some reverb and delay on a bus and with all the effects on it sounds like this Sky is falling and you know we gotta hide we gotta run gotta run for our lives and as i said i've got a lot of takes that for some reason are just deleted in this project basically i just sang it over and over and layered it and chose the best takes to use in the final sample i bounced them down into one audio file and i pitched it to the pitch that i later pitched the sample to and i put this preset magnitude transition one which is what i use on almost all my vocals and all my samples r&b trap whatever it is by pitching it up i made it sound like a little bit like a kid choir i like to think after that i just wanted to add a little bit more to kind of add some variation in the sample uh so what i did next was i added this little pad which is just following the same chords as the piano it's with the mellotron and symbol core-esque whatever the hell that is preset and i played these chords So super simple. Um, and that was just for a change up. One of the last elements I added was just these strings right here. This is from BBC Symphony, which is a free plugin. Uh, I use it all the time for strings and stuff. And I just followed these two notes that were in the chord, these little middle notes that you go one step in between. Uh, 
And that's really just for like a background ambience, just to kind of make it more creepy, because that's what we're going for in the sample. I bounced all those to audio and pitched them differently, so that's why sometimes they're playing in different keys right now. A little unorganized. Last sound I added was just this church bell. Use it in all my Memphis kind of loops. Bounced everything down. As you can hear in the arrangement, I kind of just took things out and pitched stuff up octaves and down octaves just to kind of add some variation. And then I had this section with that pad that I had earlier. Let's get right into the drums. But before that, if you haven't already, check out my Patreon. I'm gonna be doing exclusive tutorials every week where I'm breaking down everything. I'm doing silent cookups where you can see every part of my process. Uh, no editing, it's just me cooking from scratch. I'm doing one-on-one -on -one consultations, Discord community, stuff like that if you're interested at all. Link to see that will be in the description as well. But yeah, let's get into the drums. So this is what the drums sound like solo. I'm not a drum guy, but I feel like these drums are smack. First thing I did, grabbed this hi-hat from the Max Shooter Essentials 2 drum kit, which is also on loopstash.com. So super simple hi-hat roll, but for these Memphis beats, you can't do it without having this little roll right here, this little 16th note roll, this one right here. You gotta have that. Next thing I did, I grabbed this snare from the Take Heath drum kit, which is free. I think I got it on Reddit or something. And just put in this basic pattern with the hi-hat. That little roll at the end is just like some super fire that I picked up from some Memphis beats. Next thing I added was this Spins 808, and this 808 is a little bit crazy compared to what I normally do. I added a kick on top of that, and this is what the kick sounds like. I grabbed this open hat from the Take Keith drum kit as well, and that's what that sounds like. You kind of want to keep the drums somewhat simple on these kind of beats because that's just the way they are. But yeah, came out super fire. Hope y'all enjoyed the tutorial, and without further ado, play the finished beat and catch you in the next one. Peace.